so I am Wolf, and with me is Unstable with a toothache. <laughs> yeah, so Unstable got a little bit of a toothache. Be nice to him. He's mm. doing, this isn't an easy job. He's basically doing improv casting for four hours, and it's rough, but Unstable is going to break through. <laughs> Tooth's not going to break, I hope. <laughs> Maybe. That's right. We are going into check versus Noblesse, though. Yeah. Both these guys play extremely well in a round of 32. We'll see how they go here. Yeah, it's going to be check, on the dual site, though. Check is... Um, I'd like to say he plays similar to OGS The Wind. Mm. They've got a similar skill level and a similar play style. There he is now. He made it to the round of 32 by taking out Choyu. Cho Choyu for you. <laughs> Obviously, Choya did some all-ins in that set, both games. And if you know you're playing against Choya and prepare for all-ins, you can hold the all-ins. That's just how it goes sometimes, so... I don't want to say that Czech played extremely well in those games, but he played well. He played the Choya style. With his pink keyboard. With his pink keyboard. It looks pink. Is it... Is it just a trick? I don't know. I think it's just a trick. It's a lighting yeah, but here's trick. Noblesse. He went through OGS Hero 2-1. That was an extremely good series as well. Yeah, A lot of people consider Hero's PVT to be number one in Korea. Some people. That's true. Well, I like him a lot. I think that his style versus Zerg is actually... He's one of those Protosses out there that actually knows what he's doing against Zerg. He knows how to play from the mid to the late game. He knows how to get into the mid game safely. He doesn't just go, all right, how many gateways am I going to make this time yeah. off of two bases? What am I exactly going to do with these gates? I don't know. Am I going to make a Stargate? Am I going to go for a charge based all in? <laughs> We've seen all sorts of funky Protoss all ins versus Zerg, but Hero, he knows how to do it. Very good player overall, and Noblesse took him out 2 1. Yeah, it was a very close series as well. Obviously, going 2 1, but the games themselves are very close. So, here they are on screen now, both in the map set for this one is going to be Jewel Site, Metalopolis, and Crevasse. Yeah, MVP Noblesse actually used to be on the team Foyu. He used to use the ID Q Foyu. So, keep that in mind. It's something a lot of the Korean players actually do is when they switch teams, they switch names as well. Yeah. Just to redefine themselves on their new team. It's interesting too because when you see them on the ladder, they have all their old names and yeah. IDs. So, you're like, whenever you see Ganji, for example, on the ladder, it says, I am Ganji. You're like, but he's on Slayers now. It happens to me almost every day. I'll look over and someone's playing and I'm like, wait, did he? To be on this team, and everyone's just like, no. is he in Prime? I was like, why is he in I am there? Is it Slayers? He's not really in Slayers. <laughs> NSP? NSP is like the most common clan tag yeah. that you see, and you're like, wait a minute. NSP is a clan, though. It's a StarCraft 1 clan and StarCraft 2 clan, so people keep the name. It's not that big of a deal, but you see it, and you're like, no, he's he's not just an NSP anymore. He's on a real team. Mm -hmm. Just don't have any more name changes. It happens. It happens to a lot of people on NA. I, I see it all the time. <laughs> yeah. For when clan support comes, but it is coming soon. Yeah. Name changes are coming. That's what I've been told. All right, we're going to jump into the game now. So here we go. All right, over here, the bottom left of Dual Sight, a member of the team Prime. He's been a solid Zerg. Had a little bit of a slump, but he's not out of it just yet. He is. My check one two one check 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 a plan B. I love that intro. <laughs> That's actually a really good intro. Check prime. Is the next one gonna cut your jerk off? No, I'm not gonna let it. <laughs> All right, down here, the top right, a member of the team MVP, Great Terran. He is. MVP, overless. I'm not going to cut my joke off because there's no joke <laughs> to be had. Noblesse isn't a joke. He's very serious. Yep. Right off the bat, he is going to take his gas. So, we may see Reactor Hellions. Looks like Czech going to be going for a very fast hatchery. 14 hatching it up. On a map like this, that can be quite risky. Rush distance is pretty close. Also, the natural very, very wide open. But again, against a Hellion type of opening, can hold it pretty easily if you know what you're doing. People have really figured out how to deal with Hellions without Roaches. Yeah. If they do make the Roach Warren, they only make about three Roaches. They don't overcommit to the Roaches. That was a problem a lot of Zergs were having in the beta and in the earlier stages of release. It's just, Hellions are coming, what do I do? I'm going to make a bunch of Roaches. Back then, Roaches only had three range, but 
make a bunch of roaches, then overcommit to the roaches, then can't be aggressive with them. It, they put too much money into it. It was really bad. People are figuring out how to control them properly. Yeah, but that's just going to keep getting better and better as the game exactly. goes on. The game's only been out like what, just under a year. Yeah, and nearly it, a year. It takes time it for people take to figure time. it out. Even a lot of these pro gamers who are practicing 8 to 10 hours a day, it's a lot more intricate than you think. Yeah, those Brood War elitists out there. <laughs> Come on, just just give it time. Be patient. Be patient. I was one of those guys, actually. I changed my mind. Factory going up here for Noble S. SCV continuing to scout. Sees the gas timing. There's the reactor going down on the barracks. So it is going to be a reactor heli in opening. SCV still around. May actually be able to get home, but I don't think so. The, the way he's going, he's going to have to turn several times. For those of you guys who don't know, when you're trying to save your scouting worker from Zerglings, the least amount of turns that your SCV has to make makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Every time he turns, the Zerglings are going to gain a little ground on him. That Overlord almost got taken out. Did escape. There's the switch. So very quick reactor Hellions. Check droning up at home. Command center goes down. Now check has seen the barracks, but he hasn't seen the reactor. He hasn't see scouted those opponents going for reactor hellions. It's very important to know. He is going to blindly make a spine crawler. He a lot smells of Zergs do that, that these coming. Days. Like, yeah. Even on the Korean ladder, a lot of Zergs will blindly just put two spine crawlers down when they're playing a Terran because they just expect an all in. And a lot of Terrans on the Korean server do all in. Yeah. At the medium level of masters, I guess you could say. Grandmasters. That's how the Korean server works. It's extremely brutal until you get to the super high level. Then when you get to super high level, people just try to see how greedy they can get. <laughs> they just don't make any units at all. Here come those Hellions in here. The spine color not the right spot to deflect these. And these Zerlings are going to get caught. Queen trying to trap them, unfortunately, for check. They do get inside. These drones are in trouble. Pulls them around the hatchery, grouping up a little bit. There's only two Hellions, so he's not going to get as many kills unless he gets through there and pulling two drones up at the back and actually getting a lot more kills than I expected of these yeah, guys. Yeah, this is Spine looking really Whoa. bad. Whoa, check. Holy check. Taking out some of these drones here at the these natural Hellions again. These are still alive, going straight back up into the main. Yeah, are there's no drones? drones to be found there, though. Are they Zerglings? I think they're all Zerglings being morphed there. He just needs to get away from those Queens. And, and wow. He actually just made two Hellions. He switched back at his base during all of this. Mm -hmm. With his barracks again, so he has just made these two Hellions and these two oh, Hellions alone. Are we going to get two more drones here? Oh man, check. Oh, maybe not. Losing so much, looks like he will keep these two drones alive. We've got two more Hellions coming across the map. Just running down the ramp, I think. I'm looking at the mini-map here. Nope, he's just uh... No, oh, they're Marines. Yeah, like I said, he just made those two Hellions and switched the reactor immediately. He's got a starport going up here. Another reactor around the factory. Reactory? It's a reactory on the factory. Mm -hmm. Did make a Marauder as well, just for that moment where he had the tech lab on the barracks. Got stim researching. It's about to finish up as well. Mm -hmm. Check now, completely droning, making only drones during all of this, just because he lost so many, he had to do that. Yep. So he's caught back up in drones, but the problem is he doesn't really have much of an army now, whereas Noblesse has a huge army. He's got stim, He's got tons of Marines, he's got just one Marauder in there. He's going to have Medivacs out here pretty shortly as well. Taking that Command Center. Combat Shields on the way, Bunker going up just to be safe. Love Zergs do all in after something like that happens, because it's yeah. very difficult to catch up. Trying to get this overlord, it looks like it will go down. Yep. Using that dropship for vision. Always a good idea to check those high ground areas against Zergs, because they will hide overlords there. Second spine going down, four check. He doesn't really know what to expect from here. Especially because he only saw those two Hellions, so he's thinking maybe he's doing another type of timing attack behind this. In fact, he has not seen what's going on really. He hasn't seen that Noblesse has taken this command center just yet. He doesn't know exactly what unit composition that Noblesse has. He's going to go forward with some blings, try to catch some reinforcing units perhaps. And actually completely counterattack the main here. There is one bunker, but just one bunker. Check attacks these SCVs. There's nothing here for Noble S. Wow, nice stop position on those SCVs. Can be forced to pull back his lings. Does a bit of damage though, as a Bane Lingness and Lair is about to finish. 
Check stimmed, or no bless rather, stimmed all of his Marines. He's running forward into the natural base location of Check. He stimmed way too early, as you can see, those Marines not even engaging anything. He's got three dropships there, though, so yep. should be okay. And here he comes scanning, killing these tumors, killing the Queen. Focusing down this uh, Spine Crawler's way. Does have one more order in the mix, so the Spine Crawler's going to drop a little bit quicker than normal. A lot of Ling's being brought down here from the main. But he's going to get himself in a nice position. Oh, he does back off. He's not allowing himself to get surrounded as well as, as Czech would want him to. There's a lot of lings going down here, but drones being pulled as well. The two queens in the mix as well. He's getting a lot of kills here. If he stims Jet again, he's going to try and take out both these queens as well. All the drones being pulled back. He's got 26 lings in production, but losing a lot of drones here. Yeah, he's probably just going to stay on top of this ramp, killing these overlords. The lings cannot surround these units while they're on top of the ramp. He's just doing so much damage here. The baneling nest did finish up, but he just didn't make any banelings. He may clean up, but of course, Noblesse can just lift and back away. Mm -hmm. Noblesse almost double the supply of check now. He lost a lot of drones there yet again, and he's just got another reinforcement uh, group of units here from Noblesse. He's just going to walk across the map and just regroup, and I think he's going to finish him off here. I think you're exactly right. He doesn't want check to get any more time. Plus one weapons haven't started. One baneling on the way for check. Drop some of these Marines out and he'll lift them up again. Just picking off these earlings where he can. More Marines, like you said, reinforcing across the middle of the map. They do have combat shields and stim. You saw the stim in action earlier. Combat shields just finishing up. Baneling speed and five more banelings on the way for check, but I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Well, he really needs those banelings in the first place, but without stim, it is going to be very easy for Noblesse to actually split his Marines. There's a lot of units coming through here. 12 more links in production, and there we go. He's just going stimming in, trying to get away from these links. Needs to be careful of the Banelings though. Whoa, lifts them all up. Nice. nice move. I was like, he's not splitting unstable. <laughs> they just lift them up. Oh, I was like, oh, smart move there. Spire being made here for check. I think he's overreacting. Can't afford a Spire right now off of two bases. When he has to keep making these Banelings, he's getting Banelings speed. Doesn't have the gas for it, but he's going to do it anyways. Oh, sacrifices those Marines. I think that was intentionally, but he didn't split them as well as he could have. Even so, he did reduce that Baneling count significantly. Well, there's not many Queens there. What he could do is just drop one Marine to each Baneling. Exactly. Uh, and then just lower the count and then come back a little bit later. He's got eight drones. He just did a round of drones. Did he cancel his Spire and then remake it? Yes, he did. And he's got tanks coming in here. Bunkers Bunker going well. up. It's looking pretty bad for Czech. There's only three Banelings here now. The Siege Tanks are going up. He needs to get those Marines out of there. The Banelings are gone. One, two tanks go down as well, though. But still, he does have a double supply lead. There's nothing here to defend this natural now. All these Marines, GG. GG! Sloppy play by Czech, I have to say. Yeah, I didn't expect him to lose so many drones in that first game, but it's coming to be hitting him yeah. very hard mentally going Just into the second one. two Hellions coming into his main. There's so many better ways to split. And when you have two non-blue flame Hellions coming in, you can almost just send your drones to the two groups and attack the Hellions and trap them until your units come send the rest of your units away. But he just pulled all of his drones into a clump, and not only that, he left them. He left them in a clump just in the middle, and the Hellions were like, are you serious, Jack? <laughs> and then he sent them down the ramp, and they're all, all clumped up even more. Yeah, even on the ramp, and he got so many kills. Just one volley there got like 10. Yeah, it was... To be honest, awful. It was just <laughs> awful. Um, and then after that, he made some bad decisions. Of course, when the dropships come, you want to get a Spire. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, he's going to keep dropping and picking up, dropping and picking up. The Queen's just not enough anti-air yep. there. But when you're in that specific situation, you have to get the Banelings out first. The Banelings are your priority. Because otherwise, you're going to die. And when Muse are coming out and you're dead, it doesn't matter. <laughs> then he made the Spire, cancelled it smartly, mm -hmm. remade the Spire... But then it was pretty much over Bailing anyway. speed really late. It was pretty much over there by yeah, the Yeah, it was, it was so. pretty awful. That, that game, I have to say, <laughs> check, he's going to have to show me a much better game. Dual Sight, not the best map for Zerg. Mm -hmm. Very small map. The Hellions should not have done that much damage, but even so, that attack wouldn't have done as much damage on a map like Tall Dream or a map like even Metalopolis. You just can't be that aggressive. It's a much larger map. Mm -hmm. So things just didn't turn out as planned for check. That's all right. The map, speaking of Metalopolis, is Metalopolis, so mm -hmm. a much larger map. We'll see if Czech can pull things off a little bit better, maybe split his drones even a little bit. Maybe, but losing like that is really going to be mentally draining for Czech as well. He's going to have to get himself in the right headspace. A lot of pro gamers do have the skill to do it, but it's their mental thought processes that sometimes hold them back a lot. Yeah. So the game is up and loaded. We're going to jump into it now.